Hello, everybody. I am Denise, and I am not in the office this week. If you can take a little peek out there, out beyond the windows, there's a swimming pool, and um, I'm quite enjoying having nice weather instead of, I think it's, what, about 30 below in snow predicted for Alberta tonight, so I'm very happy to be where I am. Um, and, of course, the neat thing about Zoom is we can do this from anywhere, and so I am going to share lessons from the Nutcracker and our new Handles Last Chance video. So I'm going to start sharing my screen and share sound is checked, so I should be able to do it. So I'm going to start. If you go to Units and then go to Listening Units, this is where you will find I think the easiest to use Nutcracker materials. We have them also in the listening kits, but I think it's easier using them here than in the listening kits. So to start with, I opened these up, Nutcracker coloring pages. And the reason we did two versions is one of our teachers said, that's a beautiful border, but I don't want to have to print in color. Could you do it with no border? So I did it with no border to make for easy printing. So this is a child-friendly version that they can color of the whole Nutcracker story. In her dream, she was woken by mice filling the room. The Christmas tree grew tall and the toys grew to the same size as she did. The evil nut king or nut, evil mouse, evil mouse king led the army of mice. And then they had a fight. This is pretty tame looking battle <clears throat> and then we have the journey through the magic lands of snow and the land of sweets and there's the sugar plum fairy and she did not want to leave her prince but when she woke up she was left with a nutcracker uh, doll and her little memories so these uh, are great at the very beginning so the coloring page, the coloring page, no border. This little video will introduce the Nutcracker story in a very simplified form. And if you want to talk about the composer, we have a um, Tchaikovsky video. So Chinese dance, also called tea dance, and we will put this on our list to get the name changed to tea dance and get some of the imagery changed <clears throat> in here. But we have easy, medium, and tricky play ones. So the first one, chairs back so you can pat and stomp. Two, here we go. So that's a good way to introduce the tea dance. And one of the things that um, my kids really enjoy doing in the dance is pretending to be either mice or soldiers. So they scurry like mice when they hear the little the flute sound, and then they mark the soldier when they hear the, uh, the strings, pizzicato. And this little play along here with one and sets that up really well. We can pull out the sections where they're stomp, that's where they're going to look like the soul. So here's a more challenging one, and here's an even more challenging one, and I really like all of them. But I might follow this uh, paper paint routine with me in triplicate. It's supposed to be red, white, and green lights, but green on a screen doesn't work. So I'm going to use my hands for this instead of plates, 
And so we'll do um, one at a time, and then the light, and then the outside, and then everybody goes. Very intuitive, just follow my lead. <laughs> do that in a performance if you wished. Just want to do it as a classroom activity as part of your Nutcracker unit you could do it. This is a class actually performing with the paper plates and this was then last year when so many schools were allowed to sing and they were all masked up and doing it spaced apart but they did a great job and you can see they are using green plates. Um, I had another class uh, send me version with tapes or finger lights, and that was really cute as well. Oh, this is the one with the finger lights. So red, white, green finger lights. You can order them from Amazon. Last year, Dollarama in Canada had finger lights, I think five for $1.25. So they were fairly inexpensive and easy to do. Listening logs as well are in here. So Sugar Plum Fairy, there's lots of options. Um, a paper plate routine that you can play along with. This is a listening glyph. And listening with, you play the music and the children decide what color to color their little nutcracker doll based on what they hear. So if they think it's fast, they color in green. If they think it's slow, they color in red. If they think it's both fast and slow, they would color him blue. So this is a, a, a fun way to do it. You're gonna probably have to play that example four or five times in order for the kids to finish it. There's also a nice little play along uh, with Sugar Plum Fairy using sticks and drums. I love this flashlight demo. This is beautiful. They just go around. I would do that in a performance even if I was allowed to sing. I want to share one other really interesting thing and this is not it, it's this one here. And hairstyles, there's two arrangements of the Sugar Plum Fairy and so you have the kids listen to the first and fill in the blanks and then they listen to the second. And the second Sugar Plum Fairy is really interesting. So the first one is pretty well standard. And suggestion to skate to the beat on paper plates is always a fun activity for kids. 
So that's pretty standard for a sugar plum fairy. Then we get to this one, and it's really different. Older kids have commented they really quite like that one. something really really special um, and again a kid's instrument to the sugar plum fairy that you could do as well if you wish to so lots of options for sugar plums dance of the merlitons or the reed pipe there's actually a really neat drum arrangement in the book easy drum, and i really quite like it but here we have a play along and we have a second play along this one is animated this has flashcard sections. So let's do the flashcard section. It's going to be a little trickier. I'm going to ask you to clap or pat, and I'll call as we go. Let's start with claps. piece as well as I do. So lots of the read pipes and we have listening log, listening log printable. Uh, the overture, again, three different kinds of play -alongs. This one's animated, this one's flashcard size, this one is actually scoring. So easy, medium, challenge. Do whichever one seems to work the best for your students. Let's try this play along. And we'll do the claps instead of the sticks. So at the beginning, the instruments were indicated, you count them out, and the kids can play along with this. So trade pack, again, lots of options for this. I've seen this done with parachutes. So you could do the scarf movements with a parachute instead of with scarves. And I still like my black light trade pack, um, which I think is lots of fun. So join me and the kids in doing the scarf movements. I'm going to stand back with this and use my hands instead of scarves. So up. gonna freeze on me here so I can't do it all. Um, the words worked really well for my littles. 
wash the floor, wash the windows, and then back and forth and back and forth. Hopefully where you are, that the lag won't be so bad. Uh, another nice, easy play along for tray pack. Waltz of the Flowers, um, a question was posted on Facebook. They needed the audio and it is downloadable from here. And this version is only two minutes and 19 seconds. If you listen to the original, it's about six minutes long, which is too long for most kids to handle. Here I'm by myself, but it would be really nice if you had your kids in all different colors, uh, with all different colors of plants. I thought we had a kid's demo, but I guess we don't. And this one again, we we'll do with hands. for that. Even if you're allowed to sing, I still think that would be beautiful in a performance. You could do an entire one. A march from the Nutcracker, we talked about this with the Easy Bucket Room last week. It's so simple to play. It's a very intuitive arrangement. And I would teach this using my passion. So that I would teach um, on, on my lap. The rim would clap, click on my sticks, and you can practice all of these in advance with the slides, but I'm just going to do a little bit of this for those who missed the week where we did the Nutcracker March. Step one. No intro. webinar just a week ago. Those are all really simple ideas for uh, making the a fun unit in your classes. What levels can you do this with? I think a lot of this you can do with your littles, you can do with your books. And it always makes your planning easier if you can cross grade something. I, I 
just if you guys have it up on your plate right now, that by all means, make it as easy as possible. So that is Nutcracker. I went to units, I went to listening, and that's how I found it. And I'm going to do the same for Candles Last Chance. In fact, I might go into units again and go into listening units. So as you can see, we have the Composer Special Series. We have Box Fight for Freedom, Beethoven Lives Upstairs, Bees History, Roxy's Ghost, and Handel's Last Chance. So we put up Handel Last Chance because I teach or I taught the Hallelujah Chorus to my fourth and fifth years. And this particular video tied in so well with with it. In fact, my school won a contest, a national radio contest called Sing the Messiah. And I have to find a, a video of that performance because I have it tucked away somewhere. And um, what we did was this Holy of Course two part. So if we look at the song, it is not impossible. Uh, I would invite you stay muted, can do it, but stay muted and sing either the part one or part two of the Hallelujah Chorus. Some years my students would be successful in those two parts, and some years we would just default to singing the melody line only. But it was a big deal for them, especially the year that we won the Sing the Messiah contest. It was sponsored by CBC Radio, and we had to go into the school office with the whole choir, which was probably 80 or 90 kids, because I had pretty much all the grade fours and fives in the school in the choir. And we phoned a member in Toronto and left a recording on an answering machine. Well, I'll tell you, we were pretty psyched when we got notification that we were going to be on national radio and that we had won a couple of Tafel Music CDs. It was pretty exciting. So that is the Holodia Chorus. And the Handel's Last Chance video ends the performance of the Hall of the Chorus. So the whole video is about um, Handel writing the, the oratorio of the Messiah. He did write it in Dublin. He did write it in a very short period of time. He did write it in 18 days. And the other part that's really interesting to me about these videos and how well researched they were the storyline that goes with it about the little boy, the little boy's mother ends up in debtor's prison. And when Handel performed the Messiah the very first time in Dublin, it was done as a charity benefit for people who were in debtor's prison. And Danae, correct me if I'm wrong, apparently 140 people went out of debtor's prison when they did that. So here is the, the Handel's last chance version of the holiday of course. I don't know if it's going to spin for hours to get there. I might not be able to do it. But if you go to 48 minutes, you can see in here, we got it. So this video is 50 minutes. It makes an amazing sub plan. If you uh, have to be gone during the holiday season, it seems like we have, uh, we have schools shutting down now because they don't have enough teachers. They, they don't have substitutes. And we have um, lots of issues. So this video is 
it's there's a lot packed into it. So what we've done is we've made up a slideshow. So it's here as a slideshow, it's here as a PDF. And in this slideshow, let's see, I can go Command L and make it full screen, I think. I might, I should maybe have gone to it as a slideshow. So this is the scene description, the opening scene of the video. Discuss, discussion questions. Use this slide and the following slide. What kinds of clothes are people in the scene wearing? What, kind, what are some of the jobs you see them working at? When the kids watch the video, this goes by way too fast to stay focused and, and pick out the answers to everything. Your kids are probably better at it than I um, I certainly couldn't do this. Um, and I found this that slide questions really helpful. Let's see if this works better. Ah, yes, now you can see. So this is slide one out of 17. And slide two, this is part of the opening scene. Where is Handel traveling to? What time period would you guess this is? What form of transportation is Handel using? So if the video goes by too fast for your kids to pick up all these details, you can go back to it after and review. So for example, if a sub goes through the video for you with the kids, you can come back after and discuss the questions. So this is a quill pen. That's a really nice authentic touch. Um, also the fact um, that he's got paper, that in itself tells us that he was a wealthy one for his time. So that's the video. I've opened up the worksheets. The original composer specials had a book published with worksheets and I never ever found them kid friendly enough. So when we've put together our worksheets, much more child friendly. So this is level one. Level one, I wouldn't necessarily show this video below third. So level one could be third and fourth. Level two could be fifth, sixth, seventh. Give you something for your middle schoolers to do. So we start with a coloring page and then the story of the a synopsis really of the video. And then we have a biography of George Frederick Handel. And then for level one, the vocabulary is also pictured in pictures that kids can color. And the words, the answers are given at the bottom. So choir, which one would be a choir? A group of singers who perform musical works. Composer would be a person who writes music. So these are all terms, musical terms, that the kids can learn from this particular video. So these are discussion questions and potentially you could have the kids write the answers for them. My feeling is that going through the discussion questions with the slideshow is probably more effective than asking them to do this. Respond to the film. Again, this is more child friendly, especially if you've got eight or nine year olds. Draw a picture showing what Handel does for a living. What was Jamie doing in the scullery to earn extra money? Listen and respond. And we actually have a pretty fair number of handle selections on the website and not all of them i don't think we can link to the listening kit so i'll show you after how you can go to the listening section and search for handle and now when handle lived what kind of houses did they live in now what do we live in transportation we saw the horse and buggy now we are using teslas that can drive themselves how did we listen to music then? It was all live, or we created it ourselves. Now we have recordings, we have video, we have all kinds of things. What was the clothes and hair like in Handel's day? And what is it like now? And then here's a little quiz to show you, you know, I wouldn't do this unless I had really in and done those slides that show uh, about Handel. And here is by our Ukrainian artist, Color Performance. And this is uh, a color page that is based on the last part of the Handel's Last Chance video. So that's level one. Level two, the worksheets. And uh, an image of video when we have video synopsis, 
more language in the biographies. The vocabulary doesn't have pictures, it has more vocabulary. So again, grade five, grade six, grade seven. Discussion questions, again, I think I still do it with the slideshow rather than this, but perhaps after you've done this, you could have the students complete this and see how much they've learned. Here is an interesting set of questions. What is Hannah eating in the stagecoach? If you think it's grapes go down, if you think it's a sandwich, or sorry, grapes go right, sandwich go down. So it's questions with a little bit of a twist. Here it's the same thing and responding. It's a little bit different. Some national standards. And can you still hear me today if I stop sharing? Are you hearing me still? Yes, I can still hear you. Yep. Okay, good, because I just got a notification. So, this okay. to music is very much like uh, responding to music national standards. A fact or fiction worksheet, which we will make into an interactive handle was that and owed money. Was it fact or fiction? It absolutely was fact. Messiah premiered Dublin, fact. It was very successful right after it premiered. That's actually fiction. It was in Handel's day, you could be thrown in debtor's prison for not paying your bills, fact. And so, yeah, they were quite interesting. So, again, the comparison language with the students and the level one is expected in the level two. And then a word search, unscrambled words. Crossword puzzle and a listening guide that talks about monophonic, homophonic, and polyphonic music. That's the lesson that was in the original listening kit five for this, or actually, listening kit four for this. So, this goes through the words and talks about where it's monophonic. I don't know, um, you probably don't, that might not be a, a high priority in your, uh, in your curriculum. But this also gives us a really good opportunity to talk about soprano, alto, tenor, bass voices. And this likely is the only lesson in music play with where we talk about soprano, alto, tenor, and bass. So this shows that the soprano is the highest female voice, the alto is the lower, the tenor is the highest voice in the bass clef, the bass is the lower voice in the bass clef. The vocal parts from highest to lowest. How many parts are shown on the staff? Four. What's the fire? And it goes through all those other questions. So this is going to be a short webinar because I'm actually done. We do have Handel's Last Chance in French and in Spanish. If there are questions in the chat, I'll happily answer. I was going to mention um, going to listening kits and then search. If I search by the word handle, I find all these activities, including a full performance of the Holy Chorus. Um, I do, I think there actually might be more than this. I think there's a listening one that's missing from this list. If I go to listen one, uh, let's see, listen, hit, listen one, I believe number 36 is by handle. So Carrie, maybe make a note. I'll screenshot that. There's three handle selections here that aren't uh, showing up in the search of handle. So this one, the sheet from the Al uh, Alchemist, one of my favorites for doing either conducting of the day, conductor of the day, or copycat. So if I do copycat, I would choose four kids and this is child one, child two, child three, child four. And each of them is going to keep beat and the class copies. So this was fun. You can see that the first one doesn't keep a beat very well. If I do Those are useful, 36, 37, 38, 
if I go to change selection, I can see all three of these are also handled. So do we have any questions in our chat? Um, I actually have no questions in the chat at the moment. Okay, then we're all done early tonight. Um, I, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your November and December. This is November the 30th, we're into the home stretch. Um, somebody noticed that this could be November week five in the in the lesson modules um and i didn't make a november week five so just carry on pretend this is december week one and when you get to december week three if you're using the learning modules there's lots in december week three so you can i'm quite sure have some fun times next week we intend to talk about what to do after your concert so activities to do after the concert, some fun games that you can do. For me, after the concert, um, I sort of had things that I really liked to do with my kids. One of them being uh, instrument bingo was always a favorite after the concert. And then I knew that before every holiday, if I did it, those kids when they got to fifth grade were really, really good at picking out what instrument they wanted to play in band and they could recognize them orally, visually, they knew what they were picking. Okay, do we have any other questions in the chat? I'll take a look at it. All right, no, we've got um, nothing. Lots of good information today. You covered everyone's questions. Okay, sounds good. Everybody have a really, really great rest of 2022, rest of your school year. We'll see you next week for games and fun stuff to do after your concert.